I have seen a very beautiful girl winning Miss Universe contest and the moment she is wearing the crown she starts to cry. I have seen a person working so hard for some championship and the moment he is having the trophy in his hand he starts to cry. I have seen a person wearing the gold medal in the Olympic game and he gets tears. This is the love when the love becomes divinity that we get tears. We all have experienced that love gives us joy but when the love or the touch of Jesus touches us then we get here because Jesus is the way and it reminds us of the way the journey that we have covered to reach to this state and we feel was I really alive without you we are here where were you you made me wait so long and we get tears out of gratitude when his love reminds us we remember that how our heart has been burdened with the shadows of some memory, some sorrow, and out of joy we get tears. If we are on earth or in, sk in the sky, we are... I, I stopped at the sky because by sky I mean dreams and by earth we mean our reality, our practical life. Because neither we understand our ground reality and we are unable to evaluate how we are living. We are, half of our mind is always in some dream and some in reality. And like a child is walking and unable to manipulate his feet, falls down from the chair or even walking. The same way we also fall down in our journey because we are unable to know that how much we have really attained in our life. And in this moment when the love of Jesus touches us and our heart melts and we kneel down near him then we remember the truth and we get tears like Mary Magdalene a lady living the life in all kind of joy but when she comes near Jesus Christ she remembers how hollow her life would be or she gets tears of, of, of love while oiling the feet of Jesus Christ with perfumed oil what kind of creature we humans are I always think this way because we were hit by some arrow to say like the Cupid hitting the arrow and we fall in love the same way some incidents has happened long long ago in our life and we are still feeling it's pain somebody hurt us somebody manipulated us somebody cheated us long ago years back some boyfriend some girlfriend somebody some stranger but we still feel the pain and in such a state when love of Jesus comes in our way we find a companion and then we remember how our heart was burdened by some sorrow and we get tears and Jesus, the good news, has firmly decided that he is going to accompany you and me and all of us. He will walk even miles and miles to win your heart. And when his heart also yearns for you, he also remembers that how every moment he remembers how your heart, even if you are smiling, even if you are celebrating, even if you are having festivity, his heart reminds him that how inside deep inside your heart there is some burden of sorrow that can he cannot be misled by external way because all he has suffered in his life was to gain the glory of father and Jesus says my father's glory is sown by your bearing much fruit and in this way you become my disciple that, that all he has gone through is just for you to bear more fruit because he says the glory is sown by your bearing much fruit your welfare happens in your life and Jesus says I love you just as the father loves me remain in my love because his love is home and when he finds you in this home he says rejoice with me for I have found my sheep that was lost and the truth is that we are never lost from his sight his love it is us who have made the patchwork on our heart and falsely we claim that we are happy we are celebrating or we feel by different kind of temptation or in intoxication or we have adopted so many ways to mislead our mind that we are happy just to forget our sorrow we have made an entire world of entertainment joy celebration or drugs or wine or smoking or relationship different kind of just to say that we are happy but love of Jesus comes and 
sees inside our soul and find the truth and the tears come and melts away all the patchwork and the real bliss come and he transforms all the sadness into gladness because love is divine love is eternity and we remind of the way the way that is the bridge between all the sadness to gladness is jesus and who loves you with a prayer for his love in your life in the life of every loved one of yours i thank you for listening these words with so much of love may god bless you thank you so much my prayers for you with all love